Hi guys, it's Alex. Welcome back to my channel. I am so happy that you are joining me today. I get so many sweet comments and messages from you guys telling me that my videos are very relaxing and peaceful for you and how do I be so calm and peaceful all the time, which are really sweet and happy messages to get. But I just want to start off by saying that I am not like that all the time. Um, I definitely have my moments where I feel stressed and snappy and just not peaceful. <laughs> But my word for the year this year is slow. So I'm trying to be a lot more slow and intentional with how I live my life. So I'm super excited to share with you guys today some of the um, just everyday rhythms and things and habits that I've implemented into my life to help live more slowly and intentionally. If you guys did not know, I'm a Christian and that is the reason why I can live with such peace and joy despite my circumstances or what is happening in my life it is because of how much Jesus loves me and even though I'm not always super happy and peaceful and joyful all the time that's not what I'm trying to say in this video um, even though I might experience some circumstances that are stressful or anxious or not slow and peaceful I still can have that inner peace and joy because of Jesus. Near the start of the year, I listened to this podcast called Fight, Hustle, and Hurry, and this is just all about pretty much exactly what it sounds like, eliminating hurry and hustle and busyness from your life. But I was reading Psalm 91 the other day um, in my Bible, and I just really felt God put this question on my heart. So this Psalm talks in a couple spots about dwelling in Christ and um, in the first verse, talking about dwelling in the shadow of the Almighty, and then um, in verse 9 it says, Because you have made the Lord my refuge, the Most High, your dwelling place. And I was reading this and I really just felt God um, ask me this question of, Am I actually dwelling in Christ? Or am I just visiting or just popping in now and then when it's convenient? And there's such a difference between appearing like I'm dwelling in Jesus and actually in my deep heart dwelling in Jesus. So I've really just, yeah, been challenged by that recently. So this is all kind of leading into the first thing that I wanted to mention about how I live more slowly and intentionally, and that is by dwelling in Christ. What does this mean for me? This means seeking Jesus before anything else in my day, putting him first before I go and check my emails or check my phone, um, or start doing work. I'm not perfect at this, don't get me wrong, but this is what I am trying to do. Prioritizing my relationship with Jesus. Um, this looks like reading my Bible in the morning, worshiping, praying, just spending time with the Lord. Having quiet time with God, especially at the start of my day, just makes such a difference to my whole day. It just sets the tone. Um, and I notice such a difference on the days where I make that intentional time to spend with God versus if I'm rushing or if I don't have time to do it that day. So this is the number one thing that helps me to live more slowly and intentionally and just filling myself up in the morning with that love and peace that Jesus offers us um, is yeah just really what helps me to carry that on throughout my day. So some other little ways that I have been living slower and more intentionally. The first one is waking up earlier. Having time in the morning to actually start your day and do something that brings you joy before just jumping straight into work or whatever you have to do that day is so, so beneficial. For me, like I said, I use that time to spend with Jesus, have a slower start to my day. I don't have to be rushing around. Um, trying to make breakfast really quickly or get ready really quickly because I've woken up earlier to give myself that time. Whatever brings you joy in the morning, it could be exercising, going for a walk, um, journaling, reading, whatever you like to do that just brings you a little bit of joy in the morning will just make you feel so much more rested and ready to start your day as opposed to if you just woke up and rushed and got ready and went straight to work. Another habit that I have been trying to implement more that has made the biggest difference is not being on my phone as much. 
It's crazy how many times throughout the day I will pick up my phone when I just have a little bit of time like when a video is exporting or I'm waiting for something to load or whatever and I just pick up my phone and end up wasting so much more time on there than I had anticipated. And it really disrupts my workflow as well. It's amazing how much extra time I have and how much more productive I feel when I have just stopped going on my phone at just random times throughout the day. Putting it away before bed and not looking at it until a couple hours after I wake up is so helpful um, and I'm trying to just implement a bit more structure with it so kind of setting times to check my social media or check my emails or do all that sort of thing is just makes such a difference and I would totally recommend you guys to just start limiting your screen time a little bit and changing little habits because truly we all complain about how we wish we had more time Trust me, if you stop using your phone so much, you will find that you have more time than you think. Another little thing that I've been implementing is trying to single task. Maybe you guys have heard of this. It's pretty much the idea of just doing a single thing and focusing completely on that one thing that you're doing. So for example, instead of eating my breakfast and scrolling on my phone or trying to watch a YouTube video, just focusing completely on eating and enjoying my food. The main idea here is just to be completely present and focusing on the moment that I am in and just finding the stillness and the enjoyment in those little moments. Another thing that I've been trying to do is not rush through what is considered a culturally mundane task, I guess. I have really been finding joy in little things like doing laundry or cleaning up or doing the dishes just by being present to the moment and not trying to rush through the tasks, but treating them as their own thing and a chance to just slow down and be present instead of having to rush between tasks. I know this might be difficult as well if you have more of a busy schedule, but that is a topic for another video of just minimizing your schedule. Listen to podcasts for that. They talk about some really great things. Another habit or just mindset shift, I guess, that I have been adopting is trying to focus on my life more holistically rather than just putting uh, worth on work or things that kind of bring in money. Another way to word this could just be establishing more of a work-life balance, which can be hard if you are someone that works from home. But some little things that I have found that have kind of helped is setting work hours that when I start and stop work and actually sticking to them, so not just kind of starting work whenever I get up or kind of just finishing work whenever I feel like it, but setting hours and kind of being disciplined with it. Also taking a lunch break and actually taking a break. Read, eat your lunch, do something that is not work for like an hour. And the final kind of habit or lifestyle switch is just working from a place of rest. This is kind of hard for me because I feel like I am someone who, if I have a list of things to do, I can't relax until everything is off of my list. But I am trying to move away from trying to get everything off of my to-do list ASAP so I can rest and realizing that things are going to keep getting added to the list and it's never really going to end. So instead, trying to find places amongst that to rest, if that makes sense. So taking that time out throughout my day and throughout my weeks to actually rest and not just trying to hustle Monday to Friday and then resting on the weekends, but actually resting throughout every day just by doing little things like going for walks, caring for my plants, reading my Bible, just doing whatever makes you feel happy and joyful and rested. Um, implementing those throughout your weeks and your days instead of just on the weekend or whenever you're not working has, yeah, it's hard mindset shift for me, but I have been trying to implement that a lot recently. So those are some things that I have been trying to implement recently just to slow down and live more intentionally. I hope this video was helpful and encouraging for you guys. I love you so much and I will see you in my next video.